Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them turn the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Mm. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl JLo, not JLo, but the Angela Lopez. Back with another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be a lock update. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I just finished working out, so if I look like busted and crusted, that's why. I am officially seven months and three weeks locked. In honor of my locks, I should probably do a lock update. This is a style I like to wear. I do like to have like the little front out, but yeah, do you see the, the growth? Yeah. Mm. Look at the roots. Yep, this style is cute too. All that aside, I'm gonna just take my hair down. Look at how stiff it be. Mm -mm -mm. What I am gonna do is kind of try to do a side by side. So like peep the difference of my hair down and out now versus when my hair is down and out like when I just have my locks. I thought my locks was never gonna thicken up and they starting to thicken up. So I'm just gonna show you guys my eighth month lock update. Just to speak about a couple of things I have experienced so far with having locks. My lock moisture routine that I use on the daily or as often as needed. So like every other day is when I moisturize them. And then also how I refresh my curly ends because right now they're looking dry. They're looking dry crusted and like they're finna shrink up and I don't need it to shrink up into the hair. I don't need it locked up, you know, I need it curly. For starters, look at them now versus like before. What I do need to do is get a little retwist going because look, do you see? Or oh, especially this side, like look how much isn't twisted up. So far, have I thought about getting rid of them? I have. Do I miss my curls? I do. Do I like my hair now? I do. Do I love it? I do. Do I regret liking my hair? Some days. Would I do it again? Yes. To further break it down though, like I do miss my curls only because like I just missed like the volume, but like low key look, I'm getting the volume back. The maintenance of locks itself is so easy. Like I love the ease of just being like waking up and going from going to the gym, throw it in a ponytail, call it a day. I don't have to do too much except just do my edges and call it a day. Keep it pushing. If you're tired of doing your hair, get locks. If you feel like going on some like spiritual journey, get locks. But for me, like if you were truly going on like a self-love journey and trying to love yourself more, locks are it. Not only say that because with locks it's like you have to get used to just your your head you know with wigs you can like boom hide my forehead and do a lot of like hiding yourself like with wigs and filters and everything like I've learned to just love my features more with locks versus when I had curls or when I wore wigs or when I wore braids like I love the natural gel look a ton a ton more and two my skin don't look bad because like when I use certain products on my hair it used to break out my forehead like really bad I don't know what kind of product it was, but it was not good for me. But I don't know. I just have this deep love for my hair. And with that deep love that I have for my hair, like, just to see it get longer and longer and bigger and flourish and thicker. And I also still have my curls, so it's like a win-win. A win is a win. A win is a win. I get a lot of compliments on a daily about my hair, so that's another reason to lock your hair up. I get compliments daily. Most people do not believe that this is my hair. They're like, oh, so how much did you pay to get this installed? And I'm like, girl, the free a 99. Cause I did it myself. <laughs> so it's like another layer of love to them. Like I did them myself. I parted them myself, locked them myself, and they turned out nice. I like them. <laughs> And even like this, I still look like, go out there and get somebody me in. Mm. All right, so y'all just seen that corny ass sh I use the cream of nature. The cream of nature leave-in conditioner. I always make sure to check the first three ingredients of a hair product. So the first three ingredients are water, hydrogenated castor oil, and glycerin, followed by aloe vera juice. Like, it don't get no better than that. Only other product that I use on my locks is Jamaican black castor oil. And it says it's infused with rosemary. Rosemary oil is good for your hair. First the ingredients, castor seed oil, isopropyl mesoretic. I think it's, like if you look it up, it's like some binding, like it helps bind or something. 
don't quote me tons of oils in this you use it for your hair and skin i used to use it on my face but because i changed my skincare routine check the video out up here somewhere i don't use it anymore but i could recommend it for your face it's just tons of oils and for my curls the good old tgin buttercream daily moisturizer ingredients goes as follows water glycerin and shea butter beautiful rim what beautiful rim some beautiful shea butter that's all y'all need to know Oh, natural. Keep it natural. When I do my retwist, I use aloe vera gel. I was thinking about like the lock gel because the retwists don't last as long, but the natural, the more natural it is, I notice I don't have buildup like that. You know, like some people, you see their locks and it's just like, like they celebrate Christmas over there. Or you see their locks and it's just like, like they got dust in their locks. I don't want those problems. I don't want those problems for me. Here is a bottle that I use. The water was right here. And then I did leave-in oil, more water. Long story short, water, oil, a good leave-in leave-in conditioner that's liquid and more natural than others. And I use aloe vera gel for my hair on retwist days. And then for my curls, I use TGIM buttercream. Keep it simple. I used to have a bottle that you spray like so good, but they broke. Hello darkness, my old friend. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm getting my whole arm wet. That's what she said. <laughs> Only do this every other day. And on days I don't do this, like when I shower, I make sure not to wear a shower cap. I'm in the shower, I just get some water and just put it on my hair and just, yeah. I wanna say it's been about a month since I did a retwist. Okay. Yeah. so much Happy thinking that I was. These are my curly ends before, and now I'm gonna do them. You can tell, like, my hair goes short and then long. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. That's a style. Is this cute or is this just like a nut? Let me try to do a style for y'all. Now, that looks cute. Let's get to actually do my curly ends. I'm gonna focus on this side first. And so what I do is I just feel for the ends that I think need to be combed out and then go about my day. Also, whenever I'm done with my hair, I just put this little hair perfume thing. It's called Hair Breeze. It smells like sweet powder. Especially if I go to the gym. Yeah, this is what I use. And that'll complete the video. Without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, grab me on TikTok too much. Tuta. Oh, wait, that's not my outro. Follow your heart, and if your heart isn't in it, skedaddle. Thanks so much for the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and see you in my next video. Patience with all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking. Clearly a lot for me to take in. It don't make sense, young East African girl.
Too busy fucking with your other man. I was trying to put you on game, but you want to play me. You and your mama to the motherland. I could do it. Maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from. That sound like poetic justice. Poetic justice.